All right, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to a brand new video. Today's video, we're not working on this. We're working on this. This is a uh, this is Victor's 1984. Posted a video on it about last week. But um, anyway, the issue that we're having with it is that um, I don't know if it yeah it is disconnected. So last time I was here, at least, whenever you connected the battery, it just wanted to like turn over. Okay, well it's it stopped. Doesn't do that anymore, but your headlights are on. Not a hundred percent sure what that's about. And oh look, there's a little dog over there. Anyway, so basically whenever we were holding this battery terminal up and it was connected, key on, it would turn over, right? Like it should. But whenever you cut it off, it would continuously turn over. So something's getting stuck, is what I thought. So we bought a new switch. Well, not a new one, but we bought one from a junkyard, replaced it. Doesn't seem to fix it, is what Victor says. Um, I don't know. I haven't been over here since. He was the last one to take a peek at it. But um, basically, guys, the last time we were here, we, we poured fuel in the carburetor and we still couldn't get it to crank. So uh, today we're going to be doing a field test of Spark. So before we could even test it, I uh, was trying to pull the coil plug out and broke this wire off of the coil plug right here. As you can see, this wiring harness is a mess. It's just a rat's nest right now. It doesn't look like there's anything broke though. So, everything is chafed up though. And all these wiring harnesses have been retaped by someone. Not entirely sure what all's going on here. Just to be completely honest, headlights are messed up. Man, everything on this truck from wi for wiring is just pain in the ass. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell. This truck has been pretty much ragged out. Look at all these. Look at all these butt splices. And there's butt splices everywhere in this thing. So, I'm going to try to rig something up. So as I was saying, I am going to try to rig something up to work. Just to see if we can get this thing to, to, to give us some spark. Don't know if I'll be able to. May have to. I don't know. Okay, so what we're doing here, guys, is... Um, I, I just explained whenever I pulled the wire off of this cool right here, I actually broke it. And it's this one right here that's already been spliced one time. I'm going to cut it closer because I'm going to try to cut that splice out of it. And um, basically, the, this one right here was the one going to it. I'm going to strip this wire back, actually. No, I can't pull it off. I don't want to fucking break it. So, I'm going to strip it off and uh, tie it in. And uh, actually, I've got to redo this one too because I have to cut this plug off. So, um, yeah, this, this is a fun... Trip. This one is still hanging in there, so maybe it'll work. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I was trying to pull the wire off because I wanted to just look at it, and I tugged a little too hard, and it pop came right out on me. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna connect this up, and then we'll see what it'll do. And whenever you're fixing something, you know, that's been sitting for a while that you know nothing about, you just kind of have to do stuff like this sometimes just to see if you can get it to work. And this is where small wire nuts like this are great. Because you're not soldering anything, you're not making anything permanent. You're just, whenever you're doing a lot of testing, stuff like this is great for testing. So, that's where, that's why I always recommend wire nuts. Because wire nuts are just, they're more... They're, they're more forgiving than like a solder because with a solder connection you have to unsolder it or cut it and with a crimp connection <sighs> crimp connection is just stupid I fucking hate crimps alright I don't know why people think they're great 
they're not all that in a bag of chips. Half the time they don't hold the first time you crimp them. I mean, they're good. I mean, I guess if you... Uh, they're good. I mean, it, if you know exactly what's happening. Yeah, but like, for, for instances like this where we honestly just don't know what's going on. We don't even know if this is going to work. We're just kind of hoping here. Um, this is kind of the way to go. Thing so, with uh, TVI's on. So now, we can check if we have spark. Because we have this connected up. We can check if we have spark now. Okay, guys. So... King of the Santa Crank. We think that there's a chipped flywheel. So we're gonna try to turn the engine over, see if we can catch a new tooth, and see if this thing will crank then. But um yeah, we gotta pull the transmission out at some point. Anyway, because if you look at that line, it's red. That's supposed to be a clear line, and it's supposed to be uh full of brake fluid. But if we pull our Master uh, clutch master cylinder off here. We uh, can see that actually it looks kind of clear but kind of red. I can't tell if there's brake fluid or not. Anyway, last time I checked, I thought I remembered it being a uh, brake fluid, this or automatic transmission fluid, but because I thought this line was supposed to be clear. Anyway. Probably best to replace them anyway. Probably gonna have a whole clutch kit going in this thing. Sounds like it's starting to rain on us. So maybe packing it up. Um, we're gonna see if we can. I'll get this thing to turn over though before we pack it up. And at least see if we're getting sparked. So we'll find that out. Also, it needs a new radiator because that leaks. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Go again. Yep, you're getting spark. Okay guys, back in uh, my yard now. Um, we got the F-150 to spark. I think you saw that in that short clip. But that's pretty much it. That's all we're doing to it, I guess. Because uh, he just said that he was going to take it from here. So I guess he's doing it. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk real quick. I put these gray wheels on here the other day because they had better tires. And those tires I had on it were about dry cracked. So I put these on here. But these are the ones I've been after. And uh, you may not be able to tell, but these are all chrome. This one's got a lot of brake dust on it and stuff. Uh, these came off of another F-150. My dad actually traded them to me for a set of tires for the F-150 for his. And because he didn't care about the wheels. So, I have these. We're going to be uh, getting tires on these and mounting them on this truck. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have brand new tires coming in. I'm going to be getting rid of these. These are about bald. That one actually doesn't hold air. And then those two are actually okay. We'll probably hang on to those. And uh, mount them on different wheels and use them for something that doesn't really do a whole lot of driving. But... Anyways, um, so yeah, so we're going to be getting these four chrome uh, factory Ford wheels on this thing. I think it'll look pretty good whenever we're done with it. And then I have two black center caps, one here and one on the other side. Uh, I had three. Don't know what I did with the third one, but these actually had two red ones with it. And he, gave, and he threw those in with the wheels. So we're going to be putting the two red ones on the front and then the two black ones on the back or, or something like that. We may change it. But anyways, guys. Um, so yeah, that's actually going to do it for this video. Alright guys, so with everything we've done to the truck, uh, it's coming along. I guess he's going to do his own thing now, because I asked him today if he wanted me to help him, and he was like, no, nah, it's okay, I got it. So, whatever, I guess he's going to do it. Anyway, um, so I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it was kind of not the greatest, because I did want to try to, I did want to get a shot of it running. But, like I said, I can't control what he does. Um, but... Anyways, guys, uh, the next one will be about this white truck again. We'll be mounting wheels on it and uh, actually taking a look at the brakes on it to see what they're all about. Because um, I already have taken a peek, but I'm not going to share any of that information in this video. I'll do that all in the next video. So, uh, yeah, guys. So, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to you know drop a like. If you disliked, be sure to go ahead and let me know so that I know what to improve upon. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.